Hi, this is Deborah. Welcome back. I'm going to show you another vertical yoga pose. So remember to have done your breathing. Be prepared for the stretch and have a wall close by. So we're going to do this balance pose called tree pose. So the ultimate of tree pose would be actually coming up and holding that leg as high as you can, standing up and working with the arms up and overhead. So your hip flexibility, your balance, the knee flexibility or lack thereof will affect what you can do. So the best way to start, I have bare feet right now. You can do this with shoes. So remember there are no rules. I'm going to have you start with your hand on a wall. So something close by and the outside leg is the leg that you'll be lifting. So you're going to stand tall on your leg. So if you're looking at the camera, it'd be easiest for you to stand on your right leg and stand tall. And then just lift the other foot up and hold it. And I'm going to back up just to make sure I'm entirely in the camera scope. Just lifting it up and it doesn't have to come high. Just to the ankle is fine. But you're on one leg. Try and drop your shoulders back and stack yourself up thinking about the foot pushing down and rooted into the floor then lifting through your knee, lift through your hips. So there's a difference between sinking into the hip and lifting up out of the hip. Lift your rib cage off of the hips, lift your chest, shoulders back and relax. Hand on the wall as you need to. And then if you can, just raise your other arm up. And if you find you're doing okay, I'm gonna encourage you to try to take that knee around to the back. So you're gonna feel the glutes and the hips just wake up a little bit more when you do that. Try and hold for 30 seconds. If you can do it without the wall, let your hand hover away from the wall, that's great. If not, that is okay too. Drop your shoulders down. Now remember your breath through the nose. Good, and relax. So as you get proficient, you're going to have to skip the video or pause because you'll be able to do this much longer. You can shift, make sure you've got the wall or turn yourself around so you have a wall on the other side. You want the knee away from the wall to be the one you're lifting so you have the balance support where you need it. Remember, lift up before you go, but not in a way that you hike. When we go to one side stands, we tend to let the hips shift and your goal is to keep yourself parallel here parallel here and parallel here to the floor, no matter what else is going on. Bring your foot up to the ankle is fine. If you're very flexible and that leg comes up higher, you can push here. Be careful not to press on the knee. If that bothers you, remember lower is better. You're still doing it. Relax the arms and engage by pressing down with the foot, but lift and grow taller. And remember this arm can come up. See if this knee can go back, engage your hip, and then hovering on the wall or reaching if you feel comfortable. Or you could also use the back of a chair if you'd like to. Lift up, stand tall, separate, but drop your shoulders. And relax, good. And just end feet together, hands at your chest, soften your knees, relax the hips, and tuck your chin. Take one last breath. And that was your tree pose. 